Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Sidekick Tarot. I'm Ryan, and thank you for being here. This is going to be a general reading, so everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. Or if you're interested in more tarot readings after this, go ahead and check out my wife's channel, itval 53 Tarot, which is read you as well. Thank you. I'll be starting by pulling your current or overall energy. And then we'll be going into clarifiers. Okay, I'll get the cards out first, and then I'll begin. <laughs> all day, all day, all day, all day. <laughs> See how this unfolds. Little bit curious. All right. Jumping into this Gemini, immediately what you are showing me, there definitely has been some type of change or huge switch in your situation or circumstances. Not too sure exactly how this change is affecting things quite yet, but I will say it is kind of putting you in this mindset of needing to strategize and come up with some sort of plan. I do see that there is a consideration of things in the past and maybe how you used to do things, how things used to feel, maybe how things were before this change in circumstances, don't know. But with that consideration, I do see that there is some type of financial recognition coming in for you. So it could be a job opportunity, could be an increase in pay, maybe a promotion, maybe a job itself. Um, it definitely feels more, like more so recognition though for something that you're figuring out because whatever this recognition is, you're definitely utilizing these resources to kind of look at your overall situation as well and make a decision that is best for you. I do see right away, you do. You make a decision that feels emotionally good, feels emotionally comfortable, you feel pretty confident with it. At the same time, moving forward and progressing, it almost feels as if it's kind of like a... Hmm. The emotions are changing. The emotions are changing. And this is what's fascinating because I feel like you make that decision, you're okay with it. But then the longer you kind of sit with it, it's like, are you still okay with it? Because then you get into the energy of making plans for your future. And there's some type of closure here. And I mean, it's just fast. It's like, I'm going to make plans and something's done with. And it's like, okay, or completed. We'll see. So let's go ahead and jump into clarifiers. Could be completed. You're clearly working through it, so let's see. <laughs> and as I say that, you're clearly working through it. There's the Eight of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, goodness. Yeah. That's um, whatever these change in circumstances are, there's a lot of work to be done. It's either one, to figure out what's going on, or two... I feel like it's to figure out what's going on and what to do about it. Mm. Why though? It almost seems like all this work that you're doing is kind of like, what's it for? What's it for? What's it like, what's it amounting to or what's it um, adding up to be? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you still you're still choosing to hang in there. You're like this can this can, it's a plan, it's a strategy. It can still be successful and still work out. I am looking at six six six. Oh yeah, yeah. 
You discover something here. I'm going to say you rediscover something. You rediscover something. Because there's something about, there's something about the past that it's kind of like it gets you, it gets you happy, it gets you excited, it gets you in a very positive mood. I wonder what that could be. Good times, just maybe recalling good times. Events, gatherings, parties. Oh, geez. And then back to business. <laughs> back to business. Yeah, you're saying because of this financial recognition coming in, I need to stay extra sharp on this. But I also need to stay and be extra sharp for what I'm going to possibly do moving forward with it all, too. Risky, risky, Gemini. Very risky. I am saying risky because I do see two people here showing up. And it seems like you, you may be in the middle of two people. That's why I say risky. But ultimately, you're saying... You're saying like, ah, I need to make a decision here um, about what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. And this is something that is weighing heavily, heavily on you. That is for sure. This isn't a very easy energy. Um, mm, mm -mm. You have so much going on on your plate that it's just falling over, just... And it's almost like it's not an energy of, oh, this is, in a sense, abundance. It's an energy of things are falling off the plate, and now you have to consider cleaning the floor, cleaning the thing, trying to contain the plate, trying to contain the... Jeez, mm. yeah, yeah. At the same time, you're also saying, because you are emotionally invested and committed to this, this is something you don't want to drop kind of is what it is you're saying no i just know i just really need to make geez it feels as if you really really need to make that decision um but unfortunately it, it's almost like you are well aware that the situation may be exactly what it is and you're choosing to work with it anyways which again it's an energy of something here cannot be dropped but something here has to be worked with in a very specific type of way I feel like it's everything you got going on for yourself. I feel like it is. You're, you're kind of saying, yes, my, my plate is overflowing, but um, in, the, in not, not the traditional sense of positively. It's an energy of my plate is overflowing and I need more plates to hold all this. And I need to figure out like where I'm at emotionally, determine how I want to kind of proceed with everything. Because I kind of feel like you are in this position of some type of boss ceo manager manager um what's a manager <laughs> a manager a mermaid manager i don't know a manager but what i like here is you are making plans so manager or manager you're doing it don't matter. Mm. Or merge. Manager merge. The manager merges. Managers merging? Something. Merge. Manage manager merge. is a man mer. Mer manage? Mer, ma mer manage? You mean a merging? <laughs> Honestly, I think of merman and particle. Merman. <laughs> So bad, so bad. Ooh. Goodness, what is that though? Mm, yeah, there's a consideration here, Gemini. 
You're you're on the fence. You are. You're on the fence. And I'm also looking at 777. You're on the fence. Unfortunately, it is about your plans for the future, whether it be between you and someone or whether it be just between you and your work and career. Um, yeah, but you're, you're trying to you're trying to open things up for yourself, but you're also trying to kind of like close off things that need to be taken care of at the same time. And there you are with them. Yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, there's, there's clearly there's there's two masculines, there's two feminines. Um, two of you, yes, are matching energies, and then the other is kind of off to the side. Not too sure what's going on with that. Uh, but overall, with this closure, what I like about this closure is there is this energy of something is kind of done with and taken care of, and because of that, you can kind of rest easy emotionally. A um, little bit interesting kind of ending there. I'm not too sure exactly what this closure is, but with another seven on top of the deck. So we have seven, 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 seven coming out. Um, but of course, if you are dealing with anyone, we do have Aries, Capricorn, and that's it. Goodbye.